final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. Yeah, things didn't turn out so well. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. I do regret not beating this game yet, and I'm gonna stream and beat this game this month. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. That's nice, Samuels. It's about your mother. <laughs> we think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Of course. <laughs> Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We. Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking. Aren't you? Of course, who wouldn't be after that? I'm Jeez. To offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Seriously, people in like by the time Ripley's going through space and whatnot and the sleeping pods they up a lot better than those in Prometheus. <laughs> those guys got sick real quick. Time to get some clothes on. Ah, there's the save. Well, I guess it's probably the next save and uh, go from there. Yes, I'll write data. Access terminal. Personnel files. Verlaine. 
You on the lookout for the navigational officer? I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The Megacorps undercut him. Picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for smaller companies and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. Sevastopol Station. What a shithole. Still, I hear Wayland yutani pay well. Good luck to you and if you can't beat them, right? Let's catch up when you get back, Blaine. Okay. Hi, Blaine. I don't know who that you're talking about. Maybe it's the first thing who's flying the ship here. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Waylon Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years, and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. I'll catch up with him. Yeah... I never got to find out if Samuels is uh, directly part of the company wanting the alien or not. Didn't seem like it. Seemed more than happy to space the alien. Ah. Uh. Ah, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo? Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. We talked. She seems nervous. Hmm. I hadn't noticed. She's a skilled executive, though should help us with any legal issues we might encounter. Of course. All personnel to the bridge, approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Ha! <laughs> yep. Is this where I climb up? Do I climb up here? No. Obviously not. I guess it's the only way I can go. It's right across here. Oh, he found a different way. He stopped not moving. <laughs> Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Yeah. <laughs> Connor, how are we doing? So you think. SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comms. So routine my ass. Out. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Briefing documents. <sighs> Can we see it? Switch to monitors. 
Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Yeah, there's a serious oh, situation. Cool. The All time. right. Haha. <laughs> Calm seem pretty screwed up, so our fitted Samuel suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option, and it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. And don't hyperventilate. That's probably a bad thing. Depressurizing. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. I thought you should have gone back to the ship. Damn. Maybe the aliens just pulled out the airlock at that point in time. That would have been fun, actually kind of funny. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> you win. Help my ass. There's save in here. I don't even remember. I guess not. Oh God, this is dark as hell. <laughs> I said I'm just gonna get to the save here, and I'm gonna call it. And make sure I hit this on uh, time. An hour after. I'll probably do this over Killing Floor tomorrow. Because I want to make sure to get as far in the game as possible. Especially since Killing Floor took up some of the time. I uh, hope you enjoyed what you saw here. If you liked what you saw and haven't followed, hit that follow button. And if you're returning, thanks for uh, supporting the channel. And as always, uh, have a good day, afternoon, or night. Whichever it is. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>